Now, I'm just getting started with this YouTube channel. And obviously, usually what I post is funny videos, funny stories, things where I at least try to be funny. I don't always succeed, but I try. Uh, but I'm going to tell you a, a little story today about what happened to me a long time ago. And this story is not so much funny as it is unbelievable, but trust me when I tell you, it is 100% true, and I, I remember it like it was yesterday. So, back in 2003, summer 2003, I was in, I was in Iraq, and I was a young, scrawny, fresh-faced 21-year-old kid. I just turned 21 in the desert. And, uh, I mean, I was, I was nothing but muscle, attitude, and ego. And the battalion that I was in, we were in our own little remote base out in the middle of the desert. Just, just wide open desert around us. And for about two weeks or so, every night, we had been getting mortar attacks. Somebody would drive up fairly close shoot mortar rounds at us and they i mean it never hit anything it would usually not even make it all the way to us they were too scared to come up close enough but uh every night this happened and, and every time it happened you know i would go to bed uh go to sleep on my cot out in front of my humvee outside and wake up to these mortar rounds going off and everybody would have to get up we'd have to put all our gear on and everybody would go out to the perimeter of the camp, wherever your spot was that you were designated to go to, and keep an eye out for anybody, you know, in your lane of fire. So, every night, this happened. Well, after a couple of weeks of this, you know, everybody's pretty tired, we're not getting much sleep, and, you know, we had other things going on that we were doing. Well, one day, in the middle of the day again it's it's summer in iraq so it's hot it's i'm gonna guess if I, you know, I don't remember exactly but it was probably 120 degrees or so outside it was hot outside and a question that i get a lot about iraq is when you're out in the open desert like that how do you go to the bathroom fair enough well what we had was man-made porta johns that we had made out of wood. And it was the same kind that you see like in, in the movie Platoon, where it's just a big wooden box with a door on it and a big metal bucket underneath. And when that bucket fills up, you pull it out, pour some diesel fuel in it, and burn the contents and put it back under there. And everybody had to take their turn doing it, and everybody hated doing it. But anyway, so one day... I'm sitting in this porta john and it's hot. I'm sweating. I mean, it, I'm sweating like a cop just pulled me over with a trunk full of drugs. And out of nowhere, you hear that sound. And every veteran that's been in that situation knows what sound I'm, I'm talking about. Is when a round hits the ground fairly close. Now, it doesn't make the same kind of sound. It's not the same kind of explosion that you see in movies where it's a big loud bang and, and no. I'm sitting there and I hear whoop. And immediately I know that it's close because this thing landed close enough that it shook this this portage on that I made. So the whole port of John shakes, and I'm I'm holding holding on to the sides of this thing literally for dear life. And I'm faced with a dilemma. Do I jump up, pull up my britches, and run out to, to where I'm supposed to be? Or do I sit there and finish what I came in here for and just hope for the best? Well, it was a quick decision, and I thought, you know what? If it's my time, I'm going to go. And if I go out like this, at least I'm going out 
you know, doing something that makes me happy. So I finish up, and, and, and let me explain. Once you're in that in that situation for a while, when you're when you're living in that environment, you don't necessarily get scared when something like that happens. It's more you get mad and and that fight instinct uh, happens right away. So I get done and let me paint a picture for you. Our little remote camp has had one round land in it, not just around the perimeter, but in it, right in the middle of it. And everybody on that camp, we're talking, I don't know, probably 500 people or so. Everybody in that camp is in full gear, weapons locked and loaded, laying around the perimeter real quiet looking out for whoever is shooting at us. And then right in the middle of that camp, here comes me swinging open the door of that porta john slamming it shut. I'm stomping across the desert in the middle of this camp. I got nothing on but a pair of boots, pants, and a t-shirt. I got my M16 in one hand and a, and a pack of baby wipes in the other. And I am mad. I am stomping. I am cussing. I'm about as mad as a as a, I'm. A, I'm probably about as mad as a as a gamer nerd who just lost their Wi-Fi. So I'm stomping across the desert. I get over to my Humvee, and I'm throwing my gear on, and I'm still hollering and yelling. And I, boy, I am hot. And I stomp my way out to my spot on the perimeter, and I lay down, and I am just you know because it's bad enough in my mind it's bad enough that you've you've kept me up every night for the last couple of weeks not let me get any sleep but now i can't even poop in peace you can't even let me have that so anyway everything clears up we get the all clear there's no threat anymore i go back to my truck and everybody's coming up to me you know, oh, what what happened? What were you so mad about? Da, 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 da. And I'm so I'm explaining, you know, where I was at and what I was doing when everything went down. Well, come to find out, what had happened was one of our own guys in the middle of the camp was cleaning his M16, was cleaning his rifle, and apparently was not aware of or didn't think to check and didn't realize that there was a grenade left in his grenade launcher on his rifle. So in cleaning it, he pulled the trigger of the grenade launcher and thump, straight up in the air it went. And it was, I, I, it was kind of like in Grown Ups when they shoot that arrow straight up in the air and whoever whoever stays in the circle wins well I won that day because that thing landed couldn't have been but five feet from where I was at now I'm not going to give any names I'm not going to but let's just say that that guy was not the same rank he was when he got there after that day but anyway that is the story of how I almost got blown up by one of our own guys while I was sitting in the in the crap box. So, again, 100% true, and I still remember it like it was yesterday. Man. <laughs>